guy, Lizbeth, here with my November fade flops and flip flops. I'll just be right up front. No flip flops uh, for this month. No products I loved and then hated by the end of the month or hated and then loved by the end of the month. But luckily, I have more faves than flops. So let's get started. The first item that is my favorite is this julep. It's a milky white color. I only needed two coats for it to uh, look wonderful. It's what I wore right before I put on this magazine cover mouth by OPI. I received uh, compliments from three different people on it, so that made me really happy. So Julep in ISLA Isla is a favorite. The second thing I've been using quite a bit this month that I like is the Senna Mineral Eye Shadow Trio in Satin Doll. It's some neutral, some basic neutrals. I actually uh, tossed out, I had a trio and a quad in pretty much the same colors, and I pretty much exclusively uh, am using this product. I received that in a glossy box. A lot of these items I've received in glossy boxes, in my faves and in my flops. So another item I just actually received in the November glossy box is this eyeshadow brush. I love it. It feels beautiful. It's got like a bronze and handle. I like the length of the handle. The brush is very soft. If you see any puffs. I haven't washed it before I did this video. Please don't judge. But if you're in the market for makeup brushes, consider the Nika K. This is the first brush I've had from them, and I really, really like that eyeshadow bro brush. Maybe I can speak. Maybe not. Next is the Nioxin Diamix Thickening Extra Fusion Treatment. It's like a root lifter. You spray it in your hair, and then you rub it in. Um, as you can see, it's empty, so it'll probably be in my empties video pretty soon. I really like this product. It came with a coupon, which I'm going to hunt down, and it was either through the end of December or the end of November, so hopefully the coupon is still active because I'm actually going to repurchase this product. And then... I received this in a glossy box, obviously, this glossy box, from Guest. I do not recall which month, but the fir I used it for the first time over the Thanksgiving weekend when I went to visit family, and it was just huge, cavernous in there. So it not only held all my makeup, but also all my skincare items, and it's also nice because my luggage is black, and this is a light denim blue, and so I was just able to pull it right out of the luggage. And last of my favorites is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. As you can tell, I got it from Marshalls for $5.99. I saw the Batiste Dry Shampoo in a Best of Britain glossy box, which I actually got. It, it was limited edition, and I was actually closed out of. But I saw all the comments of how much people really liked it. So I went for it. I got the cool and crisp, fresh scent. And what I like is it's a very light scent, and then within a minute or two it's gone, so you're not smelling the scent all day. So this is my new favorite dry shampoo, and the reason I was looking for a new one is, sorry, let's go to the flops. Because this item, Suave Professional Dry Shampoo, is a flop for me. It has some overpowering citrus smell action going on, uh, actually. Like, if you turn your head real quick, you get the sense, like, you know, surrounding your head. And you turn your head real quick, and the sense there. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that perfumes and scents sometimes make me cough. Well, this, when I was running around during the day, like I said, if I turned my head quickly, it kind of bothered me. But it wasn't too bad. It, it worked well as far as a dry shampoo. But then at night, when I'm laying in bed and the pillows like pushing your hair forward and you turn your head. I actually had to get out of bed in the middle of the night and take a shower because the scent was so overpowering I could not sleep and it was starting to make me cough. So sorry, Swab Professional Dry Shampoo, you're a flop. The second flop
flip-flop I have is this Alessandro Pedex Beat, and it is a heel rescue bomb. I used a whole package, so it probably will also be in the empties video, but I didn't like it at all. I guess I just, I mean, this makes me cough, so I got rid of it, but this I thought, you know, it's a lotion, I'm putting it on my feet. How bad can it be? I hated using it every time. It has a medicine smell. Then when I put my socks on, I can't really smell it. And I run to the bathroom, wash my hands, and I thought, really? It doesn't work better than any lotion I have. I would not get this again. I would not recommend it. And the third, which I'm sad about, is my third and last flop, the Salwasu. It is a ginseng uh, face cream. And... Oh, it's just the cutest little bottle. I really like the packaging, the, and I used the entire inside. It took four applications, but I also, when I do face cream, I do the neck and the decolletage area. But I used it up in four, but even now, the reason, one of the reasons it's a flop is it has, it has an overpowering, not just like I like it, I don't like it, I cough, I don't. I mean, it's got an overpowering smell to it. And when you put it on your face, <coughs> it continued to have an overpowering smell. I don't particularly want my face to smell. And I didn't really think it worked as well as some other uh, face cream that I have used in the past, either from Glossy Box, which this is a Glossy Box item, or I use Olay right now, and it just... This didn't work. So that's my fave flops and no flip flops for November. Uh, please uh, subscribe, and if you like this kind of video, please hit like uh, so I know to do more. Thanks.